Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the Old School Picker. Which is the better shipping option? Free shipping, calculated shipping, or flat rate shipping? Stay tuned and I'll give you my opinion. All right, guys, welcome back to this channel. Welcome back to the shop. I am Chris, the old school picker. Uh, this video is going to be all messed up. You're going to see me in different outfits because I've filmed parts of this segment in one day and parts of the segment in another day. But hopefully the video turns out all right. Uh, I went ahead and pulled my orders and then I'm coming back and doing all this intro and also the topic shipping you know that is one of the most highly 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 debated topics when it comes to selling on ebay do you like free shipping do you like calculated shipping or do you like uh flat rate shipping i use calculated i'll tell you more about it in just a few minutes and tell you why i use calculated and why I recommend calculated. We'll go deeper into that in just a few minutes. But first, I want to talk about a couple of new members. This and that Curios eBay. So this and that Curios eBay and also Ollie's Treasure Chest. And that is our good friend Bobby. So thank you, Bobby. I appreciate you. Don't know their name, but it's this and that curios on ebay and all these treasure chests i'll get you guys hung up and into the rotation i do have a couple of announcements huge announcements uh in my opinion one has to do with ebay one has to do with youtube i'm not prepared to talk about either one of those yet uh, i will talk about the ebay one in wednesday's video and then I will start talking about the YouTube announcement probably in Friday's video. So just bear with me. I know I, <laughs> I hate to tease, but I'm excited about those announcements. All right, I'm going to show you guys the orders from Monday. And then we'll come back and talk about the topic that is shipping on eBay. So I hope you guys enjoy and uh, stay tuned and we'll talk about that shipping topic all right first before we get started pulling orders uh got a special shout out for a good friend about a sticker set i sell my sticker sets for 9.99 and the link for them is down below if you guys are interested comes with the big sticker and then my two smaller stickers hello 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 old school picker and then sell what you find old school picker but yeah and also i throw in these two business cards and don't really go by any of the information on there well the let's see yeah the ebay stores are wrong but the youtube channel's right but i had these made up a long time ago and still have a few left so i always throw them into my viewer sales mainly because i write on the back but anyways it's going out to our good friend lizette over on instagram posh is my purpose you can find her on youtube as new england betty boop but go check out her instagram lizette is such a good human being and those are few and far between it seems here lately but always 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 has an uplifting message for me and it always comes at the right time so thank you, Lizette, for the sticker purchase, but thank you for just being you. You are awesome and a huge, huge benefit to the community, but also my little corner of that community. And she's super active on my Facebook page, uh, Facebook group, members only Facebook group. I appreciate that, Lizette, and just uh, messages me on Instagram and stuff like that. So I appreciate you, Lizette, so much for your kind words and your uplifting spirit and also the sticker purchase and i hope you enjoy the stickers i sure do appreciate you all right so it's time to pull a few orders we got 15 orders going out for a total of 385.26 so not bad i'm happy with that and we're gonna go ahead and get started all right first order going out f3 number seven it's on our good friend laura lkg329 sales that is her ebay store but also, Laura is making YouTube videos. Everybody go check out Laura and tell her OSP sent you. 
uh, especially on YouTube. Um, I love supporting these. I love supporting e uh, resellers and sending people to eBay stores. But I love sending people to YouTube channels as well because I know what a struggle YouTube can be. So if you can help these smaller YouTube channels out, I sure would appreciate it. Uh, struggle is real. But go tell Laura OSP said hello and uh, that I sent you. Anyways, 1986 Coca-Cola Houston Oilers Vintage, 1986. Uh, hat pin. I only have seven of the Oilers left. And this one sold for $4.99 plus shipping. All right, next order H1. Uh, sold some more Wii stuff this weekend, and I'm happy about it. I think, I know I've got another system going out in this video as well. I think it's that system, but I'll have to wait and make sure. But I know we've got some Wii controllers going out, and this is a lot of two black controllers that came out of the Wii death pile. I mean, I've had this stuff forever, right? And these controllers work perfect. However, they had rechargeable batteries in the back. And those rechargeable batteries have their own backs to them. And those batteries did not work any longer. So I sewed them without the backs. So had to take less for them. But a lot of two black controllers both work fine. And uh, these sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I'm happy with that. All right, next order going out is some of these. Oh, I've had these forever. I'm so glad to sell a lot of them and they're really neat but uh and I, if i had it to do over i would have lodged them all up together but i didn't but it's some of these vintage skating ice skating magazines i believe it's going to be volume i believe it's volume 25 right here i believe and they are not on a sponsored shelf so we will talk about our good friends at pops one stop shop and that is our good friend, Eric. So Eric, I sure do appreciate your support. But vintage ice skating magazines. I mean, these things are old. And I've done them by volumes. This is volume 25. I should have just logged them all up together, but I didn't. Volume 25, number one, number four, five, number six, seven, and eight. And these are from 1947 november of 1947 to june of 1948 that's crazy these things are old and uh, i don't know how big of a market ice skating is right but uh and they don't really even have a whole lot of pictures there's a few but uh just stories i guess about it and i don't even know i don't know <laughs> anyways i picked these up a long time ago i've had these I had these at the old house, I remember. So, at least two, two and a half years I've had these. At least, maybe longer. But anyways, this lot of six uh, from 1947 to 1948 sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And yes, I should have loaded them all up together. Maybe I'll take the rest of them off and uh, make a new lot. Maybe. 15 bucks plus shipping. All right, next items, A5. It's on our good friend, Mary, over at GG Collectibles, 1985. Everybody go check out her eBay store. GG Collectibles, 1985. Thank you very much, Mary. I sure do appreciate you. Mary is a very active member in our members only Facebook group, and I appreciate that. And I sold an action figure. Pretty decent action figure. Um, well, I thought he was. Well, I still think he is. But anyways, I did take a best offer on him. The buyer didn't think he was as good as I did. <laughs> but he is a vintage 1990 Cobra Range Viper vintage action figure from G.I. Joe. He's not in the greatest condition. He is, his waist is super loose. It's almost broke. And uh, he does not have any weapons our accessories i had him listed for 20 bucks plus shipping and a buyer i've had him for a while he came in the huge action figure lot that that i bought last, last summer and uh somebody sent me the best offer on him for 10 bucks plus shipping and you know what i took it because i have around 50 cents in him actually less than 50 cents in him so 10 bucks plus shipping all right next item c18 
Let's see here. Pretty decent mix of stuff going out today. Uh, including, and that's the way I like it. It's some higher, higher dollar sales. We have one really good sale. Uh, some cheaper sales. And then some... I've got too much in this tub. Some uh, older inventory along with some newer inventory. So pretty decent mix. I love it when that works out. But once again, my sea shelves are not sponsored. So we'll talk about our good friend Jason over at Downstab Picker. There's another YouTube channel you guys can go over and support. I sure would appreciate it. And thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. And I picked this up, I think, at a thrift store. Uh... Not too long ago. Not had it long. And, uh, or I've not had it listed long. Maybe I've had it for a while. I think I paid 50 cents for it. It is a Quilters Fabric Calculator. Fabricalc. And it does have the manual. Uh, it does have the calculator. Now, this calculator is supposed to have a little door that closes, and it was missing. But it has a reference guide, and also it's got this little tutorial mini dvd so pretty much complete set other than the little door that goes on the calculator the calculator does has been tested and works and i sold it for 11.99 plus shipping all right first when it comes to shipping on ebay let me start out by saying if you're doing it different than i am i'm not telling you you're wrong i just made a video about that the other day about all these youtube experts telling other people they're doing it wrong i don't believe in that do what works for you but i would like to explain why i do uh calculated shipping and i don't use flat rate and i don't use um free shipping and maybe if you're a new reseller and you're kind of debating on which one maybe you've tried one not tried the others you know you might and if you've not tried calculated you might want to and the reasons i'll explain why i use it maybe it'll help you make your decision but if you're using one of the other options and it's working for you by all means don't change i just like to explain why i do what i do all right the reason i don't use free shipping uh to me that's the easiest option to not use to me it's the worst option of the three now, I have good friends that use free shipping. It works for them. They like it, but I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. The number one reason I don't like it, if I sell something for $20 plus shipping, I send that item out, I get a return. I just have to return the $20. I don't have to return the $20 plus the for example, $5 shipping. I just return that $20. I keep the original shipping and a refund just the original price of the $20. If you sell that same item for $25, you know, you've got that $5 built in to the shipping. It's $25 free shipping instead of $20 plus shipping. And you get that same return because you don't have that shipping cost separated you have to return the whole 25 dollars so in fact you're losing that shipping money that's the number one reason i don't use free shipping the second reason i don't use free shipping and this also goes into why i don't use flat rate shipping and for first class items it's not a big deal i don't think but then when you start talking about priority and we'll use priority shipping as an example for this if I sell something for 20 bucks and it's two pounds, I kind of have to, and if I'm using free shipping, I kind of have to add at least uh, 12, $13 on the price because you, I'm in Tennessee. Keep that in mind too, because where you live, I think plays a huge part in what shipping you should choose. But I live in Tennessee, which is pretty much on the East coast. So my worst case scenario is California, right? Because you can eliminate Alaska and Hawaii. So you can take those and not ship to those, which if you're using free shipping, I would recommend not using those. That's another reason calculated, in my opinion, better because you don't have to eliminate Alaska and Hawaii, right? It will calculate the price for those buyers. But anyways, if I'm using free shipping and I'm shipping something for two pounds, 
I'm going to have to bump that price up at least $12 to cover the shipping to California. So instead of selling something for 20 bucks plus shipping, I now have to sell it for 32 free shipping. Well, what I don't like about that option is you're kind of punishing those around you because you're you're building in that $12 for worst case scenario to California because it's the further state away from me, Washington state, California, those Western states. And I could ship that same item to states close to me, Florida, uh, Alabama, the Carolinas, Kentucky. I could ship that same item for eight bucks. So you're forcing your local buyers, what I consider local buyers, you know, the states that surround you, the states that are close, anything on the East Coast for me, I could ship that same two pound item for eight bucks. So my local buyers are having to spend four extra dollars to cover that because I might have sold it to someone in California. And honestly, two pounds to California is probably more than 12 bucks. So I'm going to lose a couple of dollars there. But I don't like punishing the states around me, local buyers is what I call them, the states that surround you. And that goes to the same reason I don't use flat rate. Because, you know, you can just put a flat rate shipping, say that two pound item, you put the $12 flat rate shipping. Once again, you're punishing those states around you. And when people use calculated, if I'm selling the same item, if I'm selling this uh, tape gun, and I've got free shipping on it, and I've got $32 on it to cover the cost to California and somebody else in Tennessee or Kentucky or a state on the East Coast use calculated shipping, and somebody in New York is looking for this, they're going to buy it from the guy that's using the calculated shipping because they're going to get $8 shipping instead of the 12 that I have built in. So to me, free shipping and also the flat rate shipping that's why I don't use neither one of those. Uh, for new buyers, especially, or excuse me, for new sellers, especially, I would definitely recommend calculated. You put in the weight and you're not going to get beat on it, you know. Now, sometimes eBay does way, way, way overcharge for sure. I don't want to even get into all that. And you got to kind of watch it. But, you know, if you've got something on there that's pretty heavy, you know, you might want to uh, look at other options for sure. But usually that's when I use UPS as options, UPS ground. If it's something more than four or five pounds, I'll give them an option of priority or UPS ground. And UPS ground by weight is it's pretty reasonable. So like all my golf clubs, because they're oversized, I do use a flat rate on those, but it's UPS ground. I think I've got $12.99 on them. I can usually ship them for like 10 bucks, eight bucks, 10 bucks, but those boxes are pretty expensive is the reason. So I do, I guess, I didn't think I use flat rate shipping for anything, but I do use it on golf clubs. But just think about that uh, when it comes to free shipping and flat rate shipping. You're kind of, if you're building that extra money in to cover your, whichever coast you're on, if you're in the West Coast, you're having to, build that price in to cover the east coast yeah you know you're kind of punishing those states around you to me uh flat rate shipping and free shipping works best if you live in the middle of the country because it costs about the same amount to send to the east coast as it does the west coast it's to me so where you live plays a huge part in that but i live on the east coast so calculated works best if it costs people in California $15 to ship them I want it to charge people in California 15 bucks but if somebody in New York or Kentucky or Maine or Delaware or you know any of the Carolinas Florida I sell a ton of stuff to Florida I don't want it to charge them $12 $15 I want it to charge them the eight bucks that it really costs to ship it right so keep that in mind uh shipping is the hardest thing to figure out that's another reason I believe calculated is the best because it takes a lot of the guesswork out. If you're unfamiliar with it, I would definitely recommend calculated. And, you know, as you can, I could do, I've shipped enough items. I could definitely do 
free shipping and I could definitely do calculated shipping, but I just don't like it to overcharge my local areas. All right, let's go back to pulling some orders. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And uh, keep watching the video. Some more good orders coming up. I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, my church has been playing basketball on Friday nights uh, over the last few weeks. We don't play every week. Play every other week. And uh, right here is what I'm looking for. And I'm 46 years old, by the way. <laughs> 46. And... I've been playing a little bit. Now, most of the guys I play with are late 20s, mid 30s, and me, and there's like three. Uh, we've been having like 20, 25 players play. So, you know, we're breaking up in teams and playing half court. And I'm sore. <laughs> the first time I played, I didn't play like hard. I was really, really careful because I didn't want to hurt myself, right? Well, this last time I played, I played pretty hard, and I am so sore. I can hardly move this morning, and it's Monday, and I played Friday, but my knees are killing me. Catching Fire, uh, what is this? The Hunger Games audiobook, uh, book on 10 CDs over 11 hours. Wow. And it, Shannon left me a little note on this because I think she took the pictures on this one. Disc 7 has a pretty good scratch, and disc have some light, other discs have some light scratches. So, I think it'll play. But anyways, this is a freebie from my brother. So, zero dollars in it. So, I thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And it's sold for $4.99 plus shipping. It's Kathy time. Sort of. And Kathy, a viewer, a friend, borderline family member sent me most of this craft stuff but this is actually one i picked up at a thrift store not too long ago but i still shout out kathy because if it wasn't for her i wouldn't even be looking for this stuff i say it all the time but i'll say it again not only did she send me a ton of stuff but she helped educate me and a lot of you guys too because i get messages all the time i probably get two or three messages or comments or whatever a week that's uh, from people that say they have been selling craft stuff thanks to Kathy. So Kathy, I get a lot of uh, good, good, good reports about you and how much you have helped me for sure, but other people as well. So thank you very much, Kathy. We all appreciate you at this point. But anyways, I was at a thrift store not too long ago. I picked up some of these stamping up rubber stamps. They are brand new, but they didn't have the case. If you don't know, these come in a case similar to a DVD case. And uh, they didn't have them, the cases. But the stamps, you can tell by looking at them, they're brand new. And this one is stamping up this little piggy. I picked them up for a quarter apiece. And this one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. All right, next item going out is H1. And yes, it is the Wii I was talking about. And I'm so glad to be selling this one because it's in the way up here. I've actually got a lot more room in here than it looks like because a lot of these tubs and boxes are empty or have very little in them. Some of them are completely full. But I like to put stuff out on the shelves, especially like stuff like this, because it's easier to get to. And I figured this would sell quick. And yes, it is another Nintendo Wii lot and Nintendo Wii console. And I said this in the video a while back because I, I thought this was the one I sold, but it was a different one. I've listed like five Wii's, four Wii's, something like that over the last week. And this is the second one I sold. And this is a pretty good one. I think this is the most expensive one I sold. It has a lot of games, two controllers with their silicone covers, a nunchuck, uh, a console, of course, and it's clean. Super, super clean. It is the GameCube com compatible RV001, RVL001, AV cord, power supply, and a lot of games. Now, the games on this is not great. Uh, that's why I loaded them up with the system, right? But I did have... <laughs> A bunch of these Just Dance games. So I lot them all up in this slot. If you lot these Just Dance games up, they, they're decent if you lot them up. And it's Just Dance 1, Just Dance 2, 
Just Dance 3, Just Dance 4, We Active, and then Def Jam Rap Star. So, pretty decent lot. I uh, had this listed for $99.99 plus shipping, and buyer paid full price for it. So, $100 bucks plus shipping for the Wii lot. The buyer only has one feedback. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully it goes good. But uh, they paid right away. So, $100 bucks plus shipping. Good deal. Alright, next item going out is in A3. It's on our good friend's Texas Rapid Resale over on eBay. Go check out their eBay store. Texas Rapid Resale. I sure do appreciate you guys. And we've got another action figure toy going out. It's an accessory. I've got, I found a bunch more of this stuff the other day in my garage and I think I'm going to lot it all up and get rid of it. I may not take the stuff that I still have listed off. I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, Vintage Marks, Johnny West, Best of the West, Cowboy Western, Brown Horse, Saddlebag, Toy and Accessory, just a little saddlebag that closes. This one's in fairly decent shape as well. Um, it's in really good shape, really, honestly. There you can see it closed. Anyways, I bought a ton of this stuff on the 127 sale two years ago, I think, and have sold tons of it. Uh, I think I sold all the figures in it as a lot for the price I paid for everything. So everything I have made on the accessories has been free money basically. Anyways, this one sold for $5.99 plus ship. All right, next item going out, it's on Sea Shelf again. I'm telling you, Sea Shelf, watch out, it's on fire. Let's see here, bought this stuff uh, not too long ago at the thrift store and it's one of these i think so maybe it's this it's that i bought a bunch of this husqvarna uh sewing machine guides and stuff and uh i think i bought four four different ones and listed them and i think i paid a, a quarter a piece for them it's not on a sponsored shelf but once again we will talk about tam Ranchula's treasures over on ebay one of my favorite store names. Everybody go check her out and save her as a seller. Hit that heart when you find her store and you will save her as a seller. Tam Ranchula's treasure. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hus Husqvarna Viking Designer Diamond Users Guide for the sewing machine. And I don't know, quarter a piece and I bought like four of them. And they are different ones. And yes, I could have logged them up, but I didn't. So I sold this one for $12.99 plus shipping. All right, next item going out is upstairs up here. And it's one of these Lego sets. And I think it's going to be these two guys. I put them together. And I've had uh, the buyer about, that bought these has asked me a thousand questions about them. Asking if this is included and that's included. And he was asking about this guy. And I was like, if it's in the picture, it's included. <laughs> and uh, so, I don't know. These things are not complete, but boy, they're really close. And they are put together. And uh, they don't have the box or anything like that. They are Lego Ninja Go 70602 J's Element Elemental Dragon Near Complete. If you look close, of course, I don't have the manual. So, I don't know what all this missing and what i was not but i know they are a few pieces missing hmm. although on this guy i don't see anything that stands out right off hand i think this guy has some stuff on top of his handles for sure i think those are missing and maybe there's a flag or something that's supposed to go back here i don't know i kind of just looked at them real cl um pretty close <laughs> and googled them and seen complete ones and i know they're missing a few pieces but i didn't go into detail about what they're missing and what they're not because i don't know so i just said near complete what you see in the pictures is what you get right so it was both of these pieces two figures pretty nice and i paid around 10 bucks a piece for these actually a little less right eight dollars eight dollars for this not a piece but i bought like five or six sets i can't remember Paid 60 bucks, 
50 bucks for six sets, whatever that is. Anyways, so this set, so for 29 bucks plus shipping. So I'm not making a ton, but they're just really cool. I had to have them. Next order, J13. Let's see. Man, as the day goes, my knees are getting more sore. Uh, it's on our good friend Tanya Arnold Chef. So Tanya, I sure do appreciate you. I was watching Trash to Cash podcast the other day and I heard your name again. And I was like, hey, you know what? I bet that's the same Tanya Arnold that supports me. So I appreciate it, Tanya. Although I've not seen your comment in the comment section lately. Are you still watching, Tanya? Let me know. Anyways, Pink Florida Travel Souvenir Vacation Hat uh, from Sherry. Yeah, Sherry. Uh, Sherry Resort Wear. Just a little vacation hat that you would see at a gift shop or whatever. Pretty cool though, Florida hat. I thought, you know what? Somebody going to Florida this year will need that hat. Turns out I was right. That's right, it's a viewer sale. So anyways, Robert from South End 51. Everybody go check out his eBay store. South End 51. Robert has bought from me, I know at least once or twice, maybe more. I know, I know at least a few times. So thank you very much, Robert. He left me a note, hey, you are getting some good hats. Thanks again, by the way. Love the new content. Stay blessed, Robert, over at South End, the number 5151. So thank you very much, Robert. I sure do appreciate it. Just a hat. This hat actually came from the huge hat auction about where the train stuff came from in the Department 56. Bought that huge box of hats. Had some really good ones in it. And then it had some cheaper hats in it. But, you know. If they're in good shape, I'm going to list them. And this one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. I only paid $20 for that whole box. So, and I've already sold several $50 hats out of that box. So, 8 bucks plus shipping. Thank you again, Robert. I appreciate you. All right, next order we got going out. And I didn't even realize I sold this. But this is another Lego set. And I, this wasn't included in the 6 for $50. This was kind of a bonus. I had six of the bigger legos so i thought this went to one of the ones i had but i don't think he did so i listed him separately lego 70600 ninja go ninja bike chase flying pirate chase flying pirate <laughs> it's pretty cool he is missing some parts too i think he has some cannonballs or something that goes in there but uh he's really awesome i think that's all he's missing though but anyways, he sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So that's $45 on those two sets. So I'm going to make some money on that Lego set. I, I know I sold another one a while back for like 30 bucks too. So I'm actually already in the profit. And I know I've got one. How many more of those sets have I got left? Two, three. I know I've got three sets left. So, you know, I'll turn 50 into probably a hundred dollars so you know i'll make 30 40 bucks on it maybe so not bad all right believe it or not but c again c chef again c16 and it's going to be one of these mickey mouse watches i think it's this one without the band it's not sponsored once again but we'll talk about our good friend l2r 1100 uh, live to ride 1100 go check out her ebay store that is her username if you just check that type that in the search and search users that should come up and you can save her as a seller as well live to ride 1100 i sure do appreciate you my friend and i don't know her real name but uh on youtube she is lady picker so i appreciate you lady picker anyways loris moving hands mickey watch vintage loris v 515-6080 is the model number disney mickey mouse moving arms silver tone watch untested no band uh i'll pick these up if they're if they're mickey mouse watches Minnie mouse watches winnie the pooh stuff like that and they are a dollar or less usually like this i'll pay 50 cents but if they're a dollar or less i'll pick them up and I sold this one for $7.99 plus shipping. Not tested. I have no idea if it works or not. So, eight bucks plus shipping. Pretty good deal, in my opinion. And they're worth buying. And I've never, knock on wood, 
had one returned yet. All right, this is crazy. Anybody want to sponsor the Seychelles? Because <laughs> it's on fire right now. I'm joking, of course. Um, it's not on a sponsored shelf. But like I said, we'll talk about somebody else. We'll talk about Stacks 2-1 over on eBay. That is our good friend, Max. I appreciate it. He named his eBay store after his girlfriend or wife. I think girlfriend. Stacy. So Stacks 2-1. Appreciate it, Max. And I saw... <laughs> now, you guys are going to laugh at this. Is this worth it? Uh, probably not. I bought that whole bag for 10 bucks at uh, the 127 yard sale. And... I lotted, there's six different buttons. I made as many lots as I could out of those six Disney buttons. Uh, and I know I've sold two or three for like $15, $20 a piece. So they're all paid for, for sure. I'm in the profit. And then I've sold, at, because I had more extra of some, I made uh, lots of two or three or whatever I could. And then I got down to the very end of it and I had single buttons left. So I didn't have nothing to lot it with. Well, I sold one of those single buttons, the Donald Duck Made in the USA pin. Walt Disney 1986 is the year on it. 1986. Didn't realize they had it. Yeah, they do have a year. 1986. So anyways, I sold this button. Somebody sent me a best offer on it for $2.40. And I took it. <laughs> so it was an eight dollar and five cent total order, but of course I can ship it for like three fifty or something. So two dollars forty cents plus shipping. Is it worth it? No, but what else was I gonna do with that pen? Yes, I could have thrown it in, I guess, with the others, but I didn't. So eight oh five all in. All right, so that is my sales going out today. Ended up being 15 orders for three, a little bit more than 385. That 385 is including the shipping. So I don't know how much shipping we got. Probably 40, 50 bucks of shipping. That right there being the most expensive. That right there probably being the only thing priority. Can't remember if this is priority or not. That may be priority too. So probably 20 bucks to ship that and probably eight or ten to ship that depending on where it's going everything else is going to be three five dollar shipping so 385 is including the shipping i'm happy with that not the best but not the worst yard sales coming uh, i actually went to a couple this weekend picked up a little bit of stuff nothing crazy and i didn't record just because there was only like a couple yard sales i could find should i have probably but i did <laughs> anyway some more yard sale videos coming in the future more yard sales coming in the future hopefully so hopefully next week or two they should be hitting full force i'm excited about that to get some new inventory some better inventory in the shop and as that goes up so will the ebay sales anyways thank you guys for watching i appreciate it you guys are the best supporters on youtube i appreciate everything you guys have done for me and my family you have changed my life and continue to change my life. So I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you, everyone, for the support. Nothing but love for all of you. And I mean that. Old school picker. Bye.